So okay, the new NVIDIA GPUs are out, the Super Refresh, with the 4070, the 4070 Ti, and the 4080 Super, all with that after their name. There's one that's still kind of sold out though, it's actually this one right here. This is going to be the 4080 Super. I mean, first of all, this is the Founders Edition, which is really sold out. I mean, just look at how, you know, beautiful the Founders Edition actually is. All right. Maybe that's a bad idea. This box is always a little funny. Did not plan on that. Let's see. Still looks okay. Oh, we got a little chip here. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I guess I can probably sell this at a discount now that it's uh, probably still works fine. Okay, let's clear this up. Still, very nice GPU. I don't really think it's... It was just a little bit of like dust and very resilient. I mean, this fell on the floor and uh, it's still pretty much intact. Has a few fingerprints on it now, but there we go. Anyway, really cool GPU. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. So anyway, the 4080 Super just happens to be sold out, especially this, the Founders Edition. Now, there are a few reasons for for this i mean the 4090 has been more difficult to get and it's very expensive and when people see something like this come out they're probably like all right this is definitely the best you're going to get in terms of being like a 4090 equivalent even though the performance is actually super close no pun intended to the original 4080 which people really weren't picking up at the original price now the problem is, if you look at the different marketplaces like on Amazon and things like that, the pricing is definitely going above the $999 MSRP. That's the only interesting thing about this guy is that it's a $200 discount from the 4080. It has the same 16 gigabytes of VRAM, pretty much the same of every single other spec. It's just a little bit cheaper. Now, I think probably the primary reason that this is sold out, I don't think NVIDIA made very many of them. Obviously, especially the Founders Edition cooler going to be a little bit rare. And even the other models that are sold out, I don't think they're out there in great numbers. Remember, when you look at places like Micro Center or other online marketplaces, the previous generation GPUs overlap really heavily in terms of pricing with the new stuff. You're going to find 4080s, 4070 Ti, all alongside their super counterparts. And that's overall really not going to be the best for NVIDIA and retailers. So that's why they're probably going to sort of like slowly release these onto the wild. I'm sure they probably have a lot of them somewhere in the warehouse, but that we've seen into the wild, really not that much. And that's why it kind of explains these GPUs kind of being sold out. I don't think there's any shortage or anything like that, but I think there were more than enough people that wanted to get one. Um, I remember when I got this from the NVIDIA website, I was like number 1200 in the queue. So certainly a lot of people that really want to get one of these. And that's more than enough, I think, for the stock that they had. You'll find better stock of the 4070 Super and the 4070 Ti Super. But for a lot of people, they, I guess, want to jump up to something like this. So let me know what you guys think down below about this 4080 Super. Is it something that's worth it? Or do you think it's really not that big of a deal, the price discounts that they've had? Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.